He's a much admired elder in Samoa, Titimaya Tafua. And he's put the message out loud and clear. Hello to our viewers in Apia and the islands of Samoa who will be enjoying that uh, really close up. Uh, that's got the advantage over us, Willie, of understanding the tactics that is outlined emphatically there for the team to win the game in the second half. Yeah, 12 no, to 5. No question that uh, he would have been saying that we've just got to keep to our structure, use the forwards and cart the ball up and run angles. And when Samoa starts playing like that, Okay, They're unbeatable, on. hence the reason why they made it into yep. the final on the Gold Coast. So, Falau Niua, Mike Friday said they had to be organised at the kickoff, so they kicked it straight down the field, which is in itself is an interesting tactic. But here he comes again, the highly promising Sia Usi Asofalau. Uh, that's a one on one strip, in my view. And have a look at this. This is good work from Carlin Oz. He just shows him towards the sideline and then he steals the ball here. That's just pure strength. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? Because in the other game, the 13 aside version of uh, rugby, that is uh, not allowed, but in rugby union, that looked fine to us. So, never mind. Here comes. Samoa now, they're down, six minutes to go, second half, it's the bowl semi-final. And it's out wide, here he comes again. Asofalau, and across this time for the tackle, Danny Barrett. Those forwards, Barrett and Bender and Duratalo, they're two great two. workers, aren't they? Oh, they're incredible. And under the guidance of Mike Friday, they know just how to play the game. Now, in the past, they used to make bad decisions that also questioned their ability. There was no doubting that Danny Barrett was never going to miss that tackle. So here is Newer. Duratalo, big man, very good on the lift. And they're going to try it from right back behind their goal line. But it's hoofed up to halfway. Okay, here's Yosefo, the runner. Yosefo. The speed that gives it to Sofalau, change of direction. And here is Louis. Lola Louis, a crafty campaigner. Gives it to Yosefo again. Finds out wide to Apili. Gets it again. To Apili. And now it's with Alosio, who's come onto the field. And flying for the corner is the vet, Louis. And I think he might not have got that. They might have rolled him over the side. Take a bow, Carla Niles. We talk about his prowess on attack. Just look at his ability here on defence. I haven't seen any clear grounding. He's saying held up or touch and go? I thought he was touch and go. Touch and go? Thank you. No try. 22. Have a look at this. You'll be the judge. Isles, tackle, turning the player, making sure that he keeps them up off the ground. Tremendous. Yep, they're over the sideline there. You can see Isles having a look down at the paint. Up they go for the uh, the leap. There. Here's Duratala. He's a, a huge man, a slab of a man. And uh, he's lost it. They've all lost it in there somehow. Well, Seal did brilliantly, firstly, to go in and steal the ball. And he just lost it in the contact of the tackle coming in from Bender. But you're not wrong about uh, Duratello. He walked past me the other day and the sun disappeared. He's a big unit. Quite right, he's a big guy. Very nice chap. Actually born in New York. But he's out of uh, Fijian extraction. Here comes USA coming onto the field now. Is coming into the game. Madison Hughes, our good friend, former coach Al Caravelli, is watching. He tweets to us informations. And a couple of weeks ago, he sent me the message that uh, Duratalo 
uh, is a genuine American being born in New York. And so Al will be very pleased with the way this team has progressed in recent times. So that one's slipped through the hands of Isles and he's been monstered. Well, there's another tough tackle there by Sofalau. Too high too. That's the problem, says the English referee. The physicality approach from Samoa is costing them. Lau Niua, Garrett Bender. Maka Yudnufa is number eight. Sally Sally handed off. Hughes. A lovely run by the captain. Gets it up to Duratalo. He finds Barrett. Isles is struck down by Leo Luffy. And referee is going to. Tackle assist entry. Has gone to his pocket. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Alessio came in from the wrong angle. So All hands well. on deck for the Samoans and America go on attack. <laughs> so, Leo <laughs> is off and there is Carlin Isles. Sorry, Alessio is off and Carlin Isles is in. Had a problem with his nose. He's got it plugged up with uh, bandage, with uh, cotton wool, and uh, that's a stop him scoring the tries. What a difference for Lau Niua makes. There's the pass, and there's the pace. You've got the one man advantage. You quickly take the tap, and he just asks questions of the defense. Does for Lau Niua, takes the ball to the line, and then he just unleashes the speed merchant, Callan Isles, out wide. He's gone to the top of the try scoring list here in town. Kick is wide. 17 to 5, USA in the lead. And he goes to the sideline. And uh, coming in now Time into the game is uh, Nate Augsburger. Perry and Baker on as well, too, Keith. But I was going to say that if yeah, Falau Niua had played both days, there's no doubt he would have been in the dream team on his form today. Okay, you can't pick him. Obviously, he wasn't, we didn't see him yesterday. But he has made such a difference to this American side on day two. So they kick off with just a second remaining now. You see the new player going in close to the ball, but not needed. And Danny Barrett slides in. First of all, he leapt high at the jump ball, and away he went. Well, that's one for the San Jose Sharks, the hockey team which he swears by in his life. Uh, and... What a the kind of leap. You'd have to think they're a basketball team. Well, look at that. Kept his eyes on the ball, and then once he was clear, like sliding into home base. Oh, we've mentioned all the three big North American sports. So 22 to 5 now. USA, great team to watch. And a lot of it goes to this guy, Mike Friday. He's really got them into uh, a good mood. So we're going to perhaps see another act and fold here. Let's see how the kickoff goes from Newer taking it for Samoa coming off the benches, Lafa Elivaa. And they're going to try and have something for them to talk about. Alosio back on the field. Number 11 is Muloy. There is Sally Sally. Neil Lloyd, it's a penalty to the USA. Can they switch it out so we can get a look at uh, the Baker man? He's out on the end of the line. Punched the kick through under the goalposts. Big trouble. USA go over the top. It's almost as if they want to keep going. USA, of course, will have to play another game because this has got them through to the final. It's a drop ball here. And that is the end of the game.
eye-catching rugby played again by USA, and they've thoroughly deserved the victory over brave Samoa, and it's a good win for USA by that margin there, 22 to 5. Just a little